ten dollars. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to show you guys my top five dividend paying stocks under ten dollars. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest money, and just how to grow wealth. So if you're new to the channel, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So um, today, I hope you guys can actually see this. Um, I used to have just a regular glass board here, but my buddy Ryan um, actually helped me spray like kind of a white paint in the back. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Um, you know, make this so that when I write on the board, you can actually see um, what I wrote down. So I hope this is actually clear to you guys. Um, yeah, he was really, really helpful getting that set up. So um, I know a lot of people are looking at investing in the stock market, but you're thinking to yourself, I don't have enough money to get started, right? Um, maybe what if I have just $50 and then you go, hey, this is one or two ways to go about it. You can either find a platform that would allow you to buy fractional shares. So let's take for instance that Amazon is trading at say $2,000 and you only have $50, you can buy $50 worth of Amazon shares. Or likewise, um, Apple, Google, and or any of the tech companies. If you want to just try something else and not worry about going and getting uh, $50 worth of an Amazon share, you can find dividend paying stocks under ten dollars and the beauty about these stocks is that um they pay you either monthly or quarterly dividends i especially like uh, monthly dividend paying stocks and then if anything and i move over to quarterly annually i don't really know a lot of companies that do annual dividends but i i digress um anyway so these stocks here if you have let's say a uh, hundred dollars to invest you can actually invest in all of these companies right here with $100 because these stocks are under $10 or less. So, and again, the example I was trying to show you is if you have uh, $100 to invest, you can choose to go buy a fraction of Amazon, which is trading at $2,000 and to have $100 worth of an Amazon share. So if, even if Amazon was paying dividends, you're gonna get like 10 or 15 cents, that's about it. But if you buy these companies here, if they are paying, let's say 50 cents per, per share um, as their dividend payout, and you own 10 shares, hey, that's five bucks. That's way better than owning $100 worth of Amazon that you get like 15 cents are for dividends. So that's just my take. So let's jump into this. So the first one on my list here is MFA. Um, and, and so the dividend, the dividend they pay here is about 21.92. So that's a really good uh, dividend paying for, for that stock. And they do a quarterly dividend. So definitely check them out, do some research. A again, do some research before you invest in any of these companies. So I'm not saying just go out and buy this. I'm showing you um, the ones that I have. Because every, every single one that I'm showing you guys here, I have it in my portfolio. So do your research before you buy it. Second one is GILT, ticker GILT, paying about 35.50% uh, dividends. Again, that's very high, but for the entry price at under $10, that's pretty good for you to get started for somebody that's just looking to at least put some money in the stock market and um, not only for growth, but also for income, which is that dividend that they're gonna be paying you every month. Number three is NLY. And again, this um, they pay about 19.05% uh, uh, dividend yield, which is good. So again, all these stocks are under $10. You cannot go wrong with them. So it, the dividends that they pay, this is really, really high compared to other companies. But I want you to understand something. You're, you're getting into the space. You're paying, uh, the entry point is really low, which is under $10. And there's an opportunity for growth. So you're getting two things, right? You're getting growth and income because right now with the stock market, if you were to go in under $10 and these stocks go up to say $15, $20, that, that is growth that you, you, you're gonna be enjoying. And then they're gonna be paying you dividends every month on top of that as well. So, which is really, really sweet. So, and then um, NYMT is another one that you can definitely, that's the ticker. So you can just but, hey, Google it and it would show you. Please make sure again that you Google it and do some research before you drop, I don't care if it's $100 into the stocks, right? 
Um, so they paid 41.89. By far, that is the highest um, that I've seen in my portfolio. Uh, but again, your entry point is really, really low. In, in this case, I'm not really looking for that growth. I'm looking just for the income. So as you can see, continue to pay the income, I'm going to keep taking it. Um, and finally, um, AGNC. AGNC is uh, it's a monthly dividend paying stock. That's why I like them. Um, and so far, they've been good to me. They've been consistent with their, their dividends. Uh, they haven't slashed anything. And they're paying about 20 point four seven percent in their dividend so uh, that's something to consider so there you go guys that is my top five dividend paying stocks under ten dollars so if you have a um, hundred dollars that you want to get into the market you can actually invest in five different companies as opposed to just taking all that money and sticking it with one company um, in that way you kind of diversify and you're covered from different angles right all these companies are not going to come crashing at once but if you just take $100 and put it in one company and anything would go wrong you lose all your money so that is um, that's the way I want you to approach it again guys do your research before investing investing is a risky business there is no guarantee that you're gonna make money so I just have to put it out there for my own uh, protection it's required so question of the day what are your top five dividend paying stocks under ten dollars let me know in the comment section again if you have any questions as far as dividend investing or just building a dividend portfolio let me know in the comment section and share your portfolio with us if you care i have a dividend portfolio on m1 finance and if you want to see what i have in my portfolio send me a message in the in the comment section and i'll definitely share with you you can copy it or you can modify it and use it. I have, I think I have about 46 or 47 stocks in my dividend portfolio. So I definitely can share that with you. You can decide which ones you want to get in. So that's it for this video, guys. So um, like, share, subscribe. Again, guys, um, I'm getting information from YouTube that 95% of you guys watching are not subscribed to my channel. Please just take a second and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. It really does help the channel grow. And appreciate it like share subscribe and as always guys stay motivated